Hello and welcome to the Revit Academy and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create foundations in Revit. As you can see I have already created a raft foundation, strip foundation, standard pad foundation and some piled foundations. So I will be going through, I will be demonstrating how I did that. So let's start off with, with the pad foundation. First of all we're going to have to we go into the structures tab and click on column. As you can see I've, I've already loaded in a column but you can load your you can load in a, a column to your needs and to your requirements by going into the st structural column and you can go into steel and choose whatever column type you need. Set up the levels, make that zero. Now that we've got our column set up, we start off with the pad foundations. So you click on the structural foundation, isolated foundation. As you can see, I've already loaded. I've already loaded in my own pads already, but I will demonstrate how I did that. So I'll go into UK folder go to structural foundations and as you can see in this folder you've got multiple foundation types so as you can see I've already loaded in a rectangular foundation thousand by thousand 500 so as, as soon as you click on this in the midpoint of the column it automatically attaches to the column there you go and if you want to change that to pile foundations so load in the correct pile foundation that you want and change it So that's your pad foundation is done. Now, now I will show you how to do a strip foundation. Create similar. Once your wall has been set up, click on this wall section here structural wall, foundation wall and just hide just click on the wall that you want and there you go you can change the size of this part uh, strip foundation by changing the width and the thickness and you, and you can also change the material here as well to whatever you want Now moving on to the raft foundation. Create the wall first. Now we're going to create a structural slab first. The, the span direction can change
choose the level you can also adjust the thickness apply material and there you have it you've got a structural slab now and to add the raft on slab edge click at the bottom and there you have it or you can click at the top and again you can you can adjust the size by choosing the right profile and this profile you can create your own custom profile as well by I will demonstrate that now if you go on new go on families and go on metric profile so you can you can create your own profile let's create one let's just load it in family one family one and there you go you can adjust that as well So now that's aligned up with the slab. Let's undo all that. So, so creating the creating your own profile is, as I've demonstrated, fairly straightforward. Just go into new, create family, and go on generic metric profile, and create your own custom profile if you want and then load it in and then you can use it so that's your so that's the end of your tutorial on how to create a rough foundation a strip foundation and pile foundations I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something and uh, is it and if you can uh, like comment and subscribe to the channel that would be much appreciated and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.